Hi, Dr. Rick Ferguson here. Um, this short video will demonstrate how to align a mandibular optical scan and a maxillary optical scan into the Blue Sky software. Now, most optical scanners have a bite registration function, which actually align the man mandibular scan and the maxillary optical scans together in the proper occlusion. So here you can see we've opened up the mandibular scan in mesh mixer and then we're going to go ahead and append the maxillary optical scan go ahead and align you can see that the bite registration is aligned for these two scans in proper occlusion so our goal here is to take this maxillary optical scan bring it into um, blue sky software align it to the cbct now that would mean that the uh, mandibular optical scan now won't be in the proper alignment if we bring that into Blue Sky Bio, but there's an easy function in Blue Sky that will allow us to uh, quickly fix that. So we're going to go ahead and close out Mesh Mixer, and we're going to bring our maxillary optical scan into Blue Sky software. And of course, the default alignment in Blue Sky is a tooth alignment, so we're going to go ahead and align this uh, maxillary optical scan to the um, CBCT image, which you see here in the panoramic view. And we do this by basically just clicking on the teeth to match up the teeth. This is the tooth matching function in Blue Sky. And we're just going to go ahead and pick all the teeth on the optical scan and then go ahead and pick the teeth on the panoramic view here. And we have to make sure that we have the same number of points or same number of teeth picked. We have 11 on both images. So now we just go ahead and hit align. And the software is going to translate this optical scan and align it uh, with the CVCT uh, image. We go ahead and hit OK. And we can check the alignment by going through the slices. It's pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and now turn off our CVCT image, our bone scan. And I actually had an implant plan here, so I'm just going to go ahead and hide that for now. But the idea here is we have this maxillary optical scan that's now aligned to the bone scan. And if we try to bring in now our mandibular optical scan, we'll see that it again wants to do the um, tooth alignment. We're going to go ahead and hit cancel and we can see that uh, if we turn on that surface we can see that it's not properly aligned to our maxilla which is again aligned to the bone scan correctly. So there's a quick way to fix this and I'm going to actually go ahead and leave that mandibular optical scan just so you can see the difference. I'll go ahead and bring in Bring in the same scan again a second time and again hit cancel. So now we have a total of three scans or one maxillary and two mandibular optical scans. I'm going to go ahead and change the color on this one to red and you can see that we should have all three of those in now. And turn that off you can see that the red one overlays the yellow one but they're identical and they're in the same position so what we're going to do is take the yellow image the mandibular optical scan one of them and we're going to go to the model manipulation tab <clears throat> and we can choose align um, to model make sure we have the proper model that we want to align we can click align to model choose the proper uh, model that we want to align to. In this case, it's the maxillary optical scan, which has had its position translated to the CBCT data. And then we make sure that the align using points uh, box is not checked and hit OK. And you can see very quickly and easily we have aligned the second mandibular optical scan, that, which is uh, the same as the first one, but we brought it in a second time to show how quickly and easy it is to align the two. 
uh, images, the maxilla and the mandible, in the proper occlusion, which was scanned with the optical scanner. Um, and, you, and I left the red one there so you can see the difference in the two images. Let's go ahead and now we can actually turn off this one. We're not going to use it. We'll actually delete it. But now we're able to go ahead and plan our implant in this case. And in this case, we had actually went ahead and uh, um, did a digital wax up for the prosthetics. So you can see how useful having the, let's turn off the guide tube here. You can see how useful having the, um, the lower in the proper occlusion allows us to plan the proper prosthetic uh, position for the implant. We're going to actually do a veneer over here on tooth number um, seven um, to restore this patient who has a peg lateral there. So I hope this video was helpful in uh, demonstrating how to quickly align um, the upper and lower optical scans into the proper alignment with the original bite registration taken by the optical scanner. Thank you.